Hi, Ray Moran with B20 here today with Nicholas Kanielides, the Asia Director for the IVSC. And Nicholas, hi, welcome. We're honored to have you with us today. And just, you know, as a thought, yeah, I've always believed that the Asia Pacific region has both the highest potential and is the fastest growing part of the world for the valuation profession. And you're right in the middle of it in Singapore. So I'm curious for your thoughts on the region. Well, Ray, thank you for having me. Uh, and you're absolutely correct. In fact, the IVSC has its roots in Asia uh, since the organization was uh, was created um, in the early 80s in, uh, in Melbourne, Australia. And of course, um, now we have, a, we have an office in Singapore, very much in the, in the thick of things um, when it comes to Asia. And that is not only, it's not only an office, but really we're seeing increased representation of, um, of um, all sorts of uh, individuals from many jurisdictions um, joining the various technical boards that we have and the other uh, governing instances of the IBSC. So uh, the, the region is obviously very diverse and, and this diversity is reflected in, in what we're doing. At last count, we have, I think, about 67 member organizations. So over a third of our member organizations coming from the Asia Pacific uh, um, region. So that's, that's very encouraging. Uh, that's very impressive. And in fact, I, I know there are several IBSC committee members within the Asia Pacific region. So I, I think the region is very well represented in real property, plant machinery and business valuation. Yes, and also um, the Financial Instruments Board. And they're not only the technical board. So you, you mentioned the, the technical boards um, and then you have this general sta the standards review board, which oversees everything. Um, and, and then you also obviously have the Board of Trustees um, where you have um, uh, eminences such as uh, Lim Kui Hua, who used to be a minister here in, in Singapore. Um, and then you have, we have created very recently an Asia committee, which is headed um, by, um, by um, Gita Wirtavan who used to be the trade minister in Indonesia. And that really federates um, um, about uh, 10 people from all, all walks of, uh, of life when it comes to, to Asia. So, it's, uh, so really we have both uh, an Asian presence within our instances and we have specific, uh, we have a specific um, a committee to really spearhead the, um, uh, the growth of the IBSC across the region. I wasn't aware of the Asian committee. That, that's really impressive. And congratulations. Yep. You know, switching over to the V20, Nicholas, uh, I know you've been an early supporter of the V20 and we thank you for that. But I'm curious when you first met Saurabh Gupta and he pitched the idea of the V20 to you, what was your first reaction? Well, first of all, when I when I started at the at the IBSC, when when we opened the office uh, in in Singapore, one of my first trips uh, was uh, to India, and really I was uh, it was breathtaking. The the I mean, I mean I'd been to Asia, sorry to India earlier, um, so I was familiar with India in a personal capacity, but it was breathtaking to see. Um, how vibrant the whole valuation community uh, is, uh, and and therefore, and and Saurabh and his team were really instrumental in introducing me to a number of stakeholders over there. Um, this is, of course, a long, uh, a long-running effort. I mean, this is India is going to be uh, the object of constant efforts for us to grow and expand uh, and promote the IVS and the IVSC um, in that in that um, great uh, country um, and so when when I heard about the V20 I was uh, very impressed by the sheer ambition of the project um, uh, and in fact uh, it's been uh, am I I'm I'm just um, very impressed by what they've been able to achieve in such a short time uh, from what was a what was seemed like a crazy idea of of doing a, a V20 uh, in a very very short uh, time span, but 
from what I understand, and obviously we're speaking before the, uh, just a couple of weeks before the actual event, um, I, I can see the, the signups, I can see that it's going to be a great success. So um, that's, uh, that's, of course, very encouraging. But it is part of a broader, longer term, uh, slower burn effort towards uh, the Indian um, the Indian community. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's an effort that's very well worth uh, undertaking. And mm. Nicholas, your name comes up frequently as we now finalize uh, the agenda and speaking slots for the V20, and your name is always spoken up highly regarding ethics and standards, but I'm curious, is there any one topic or issue that you're most passionate about when it comes to the valuation profession? Well, that's very kind of you to say. Um, um, I would, I mean, obviously, my background is very much um, business valuation more than anything else, and um, the advances that have, that have that we have seen in the valuation techniques uh, in the past few years, when it comes to business valuations, and that's not to say that there haven't been any advances in, in other domains, um, are just breathtaking, and there's, it's a very very exciting time. Um, so that's that's what I would say interests me most. Um, when it comes to ethics, it's very clear that you know, as the IVSC um, promotes professionalism, professionalism doesn't exist without without um, the foundation of ethics. Um, so that is an integral part of of what we do and what underpins. Um, our work and our standards, the international valuation standards, the IVS. So the two cannot be uh, the two cannot be dissociated. The the ethics part and the technique part they they are very very much uh, just just one thing. Um, when it comes to well, perhaps my um, my background because I I spent um, the early years of my career um, in the securities markets and um, and we had to deal with, well I witnessed um, a number of not so glorious episodes when it comes to the you know late 90s early 2000s and then and then again the, the great financial crisis um, to some extent you know these experiences um, really marked me and these were in part failures of ethics um, and so I always have that in the in the back of my mind when talking about valuation techniques today, the, you know, the, the instances of what happened to, to Enron, to um, the, um, the, 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 the house builders, uh, uh, the financial institutions that um, had a not so glorious end in the great financial crisis, all this is very, um, still resonates uh, with me. And that is perhaps what, uh, something that I carry even today as, as we discuss ethics and promote the international valuation uh, standards. I would also say that um, ethics is, is something that um, we always talk about when reaching out to, um, uh, when, when doing, you know, when reaching out to future valuers. So that could be students, that could be young professionals who are thinking of, of becoming val valuers, or even um, uh, professionals in finance who um, who do valuations as part of their uh, as part of their day-to-day uh, -day job. So when we reach out to these to these professionals, we always insist on the importance of ethics. Yeah, I totally agree, particularly when it comes to recruiting younger people from universities into our profession because uh, it really is such a rapidly growing and evolving and fun profession to follow. We just need more of them involved. So uh, this is great. Nicholas, thank you so much. A any final thoughts for the audience that you'd like to share, either V20 or just on the valuation profession? Well, I I'm sure I'm sure the V20 is going to be a great success. Uh, you can I, we we know who the speakers are, the other speakers. Uh, we already have a good sense of who will be in 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 um, in the audience. I know quite a few of these people, and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be at a very very high level. Um, of um, stimulating debate, uh, and so that is that is something I really, really look forward to. I'm also uh, looking forward to the international aspect because we have we have attendees and, and speakers coming from um, 
many countries, uh, and and that's going to be interesting to see them uh, in uh, in India, um, which is a which is a, a extraordinary place. Uh, and I think it, the meeting of the minds will really be um, will really be something uh, that I that I and everyone else will will enjoy. So um, I'm I'm counting down the days to my arrival, uh, and and I look forward to meeting uh, all of our viewers there. I, I totally agree. I'm excited, looking forward to it, and I just think it's going to be a wonderful event. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time today. Um, this has been a very enjoyable discussion, and I really am looking forward to seeing, seeing you in New Delhi. Yeah, so do I. Thank you very much, Ray. Thank you.